I want to give you three pieces of news. Good news, the bad news, and the best news. So we'll start with the good news. God is light. God to be light means that he is the source of pure life. And God is the source of perfect goodness. Everything in God is right. I think about my 10-year-old son right now. Next Saturday is Faith Day at Nationals Park. They asked me before the game to throw out the first pitch. And my 10-year-old son, when he found out about that to me, just looked at me and he said, Dad, don't blow it. We need to go out and practice. This is my son saying to me, Dad, you need to practice. Not me telling my son he needs to practice for a sport. He's like, Dad, you need to practice. So he he helped me measure out uh, 60 feet, 6 inches, and he got down like a catcher and... uh, just the, the current uh, status report is I'm all over the place. So this is what's different about God. God never has to worry about messing anything up. He can mess up. It's not possible in his character. He is perfectly good. But interestingly, it's that reality that leads us to the bad news. God is holy. We are sinners. God's holy, perfect, faithful, just. We're the exact opposite. We are sinners, imperfect. As a result, we deserve, you and I deserve the just judgment due sin before a holy God, death. At which point we think, yeah, yeah, but God's loving, right? Since God is love, can't he just forgive us of our sins? For if he did, he would not be just. This is the most important question in the Bible. How can God be just and loving towards sinners at the same time? time. And that's a problem we can't solve because no matter what we do, we still stand as sinners before a holy God deserving of eternal death. There's nothing we can do. This is a problem that needs God to solve it, which leads to the third piece of news. Jesus died for God. We say things like, I wonder what Jesus saw in me that would send him to the cross. He saw nothing good in you. That's why he went to the cross. In love, he has sent his son and he has poured out the judgment you deserve right where you're sitting on Jesus instead of you. So that when you repent and believe in Jesus, you will be forgiven of all your sin and reconciled to God forever. That's the best news. I exhort you in light of this best news, walk in the light of God. Confess sin honestly. There's sin that separates us from fellowship with God. That's the whole point of the gospel. Jesus has paid the price. So now, walking with God involves confessing sin. When we confess our sin, God is faithful. God is just. He forgives us our sin, cleanses us from all unrighteousness. Don't hide sin. Confess sin honestly. And as you do, find the way open for the good life.